75 different agencies gathered at the State Emergency Operations Center at Papago Park Military Reservation in order to put their skills to the test in the event a massive earthquake rocks Arizona. The Department of Emergency and Military Affairs tested statewide agencies in an earthquake drill, simulating a 7.0 earthquake north of Paulden in Yavapai County. We want to make sure that um, any of the agencies that would respond have a chance to know who their counterparts are. Dima started planning this event back in January, basically looking at possible hazards that can happen in Arizona and developing an exercise based on that. It's just a coincidence that we did have uh, the earthquake just a few days ago. One component of emergency response are the teams who are behind the scenes, working logistics. So the people behind me are working on helping to solve those problems, identifying resources and where they can come from. Another component of emergency response are the first responders who go out and execute the rescue plan. First thing we want to do is do an assessment. Is there anyone who's trapped? Is there anyone, you know, that would need assistance that way? The 91st Civil Support Team set up tents at the military base in order to work closely with first responders. Agencies like the Phoenix Fire Department were at the event, learning about what to do in the event that a chemical spill happens at the scene of a disaster. No matter what the triggering event, whether it's an earthquake or fire or flood, there are some very similar things that need to happen. There's usually critical infrastructure that could be damaged. It could be cell towers that are down, roads that are closed. Sometimes there's people that need to be sheltered. Uh, so things like that, no matter what the disaster, that's kind of a common thing. So even though it's an earthquake drill, by doing this today, it helps us be prepared for other disasters that can occur. This annual training event continues to prepare our first responders in the event of an emergency. Dima says this practice could very well help if there are other natural disasters, like flooding when El Nino hits this year. In the Broadcast Center, I'm Wafa Shahid, Cronkite News.